And to sit there and charge somebody with the crime that they charged him with, I think is just a complete miscarriage of justice. In a Fox 23 exclusive, a man has filed a federal lawsuit against the city of Tulsa, alleging he was wrongly arrested, charged, and prosecuted for rape. It's a crime a jury did not believe he committed. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rozzi. Fox 23's crime and safety reporter Abigail Dye has been digging into this case. She joins us live here in the studio. Abigail, what did you learn? Well, Shay, I've spent the last couple of weeks looking into this federal lawsuit and the court records around it. The man is a Tulsa native who built a career in the cybersecurity industry. The suit claims the rape charge ruined his life and reputation. A jury found him not guilty, and now that he's been acquitted, he's looking for justice. This federal lawsuit was filed against the city of Tulsa and Tulsa Police Special Victims Unit Lieutenant Darren Ehrenrich. It alleges they violated the constitutional rights of Timothy Hankins, the man charged, then acquitted, of raping a woman he went on a date with. I mean, we filed it because there was an incredible injustice that happened to Tim Hankins when he was charged with uh, the crimes that he was charged with. Attorney Dan Smolin says his client, Hankins, was wrongfully prosecuted for a crime he didn't commit. He says the woman who accused Hankins of the crime influenced the investigation because she holds a powerful position in Tulsa County. In fact, she's a prosecutor in the district attorney's office. I think that they were more aggressive in trying to put together a case uh, because of who was, but I think what allowed the process to move forward is the overall policies and practices of the Tulsa Police Department as it pertains to the requirement or lack of requirement to put exculpatory evidence into the probable cause affidavits. Court records show Tulsa police arrested Hankins in 2020 and charged him with first degree rape. A probable cause affidavit in the case written by Lieutenant Aaron Rich cites video footage, witness interviews, and a rape exam as evidence to make an arrest. There are literally dozens of factors that the Tulsa Police Department chose to leave out of the probable cause affidavit. The case went to trial in April of this year. A Tulsa County jury found Hankins not guilty of the rape charge. There was never any evidence at all that Mr. Hankins had committed a crime. The federal lawsuit claims Hankins' reputation was ruined, that he was fired from his tech job and became unemployable. This whole encounter has been devastating to Mr. Hankins from an emotional standpoint, from a standpoint of uh, his finances, his work, his career. When you take someone's life away from them, like they took Tim Hankins' life away from him, there needs to be repercussions. We need to hold the system accountable. The case was tried in Tulsa County Court by Payne County prosecutors to avoid any conflict of interest. I called the Payne County District Attorney for comments on this story. District Attorney Laura Thomas's office. She returned my phone call saying she'll get back to me, but never did. I also reached out to Tulsa Police for comment. They haven't responded. It never should have happened, but it was allowed to go forward and it devastated Mr. Hankins' life. Attorney Smolin is seeking monetary damages to make up for the financial losses suffered by his client. I reached out to the Tulsa County District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler to see whether he had any comments. A spokeswoman provided this statement saying our office recused the case from the very beginning. The Oklahoma Attorney General appointed a separate prosecutor's office to review and make filing decisions it deemed appropriate. At this point, this is a private civil matter and should be treated as such. The city has decided to represent Lieutenant Aaron Rich in his defense and has three weeks to respond to the case. Of course, I'll have an update for you when that happens. Covering news that matters, I'm Abigail Dye, Fox 23 News.